hello students welcome back to engineers academy do hit the subscribe button if you are here for the first time now let's solve this problem from vector mechanics for engineers by ben and johnston the problem says that a small boat hangs from two davits one of which is shown in the figure the tension in the line abd is 82 pounds determine the moment about c of the resultant force r a exerted on the davit at a so we have this david and at a um, this small boat is hanging and we have the tension the magnitude of the tension in this whole rope is 82 pounds and we are required to determine the moment about this point c due to the resultant force of the tension in this rope abd so in order to find the resultant we need to uh, cut these ropes and we need to consider the tension in each of these ropes so if i cut these two ropes and this rope so we will have two forces acting downwards and we will have one force like this so these two forces are forces let's say and that is known as fab and the tension in this rope or the force in this rope is fad so since we have we have cut two ropes so we will have two fab so we have one fab force here and we have second fab force here so overall we have two fab forces in the downward direction that is in the negative y direction and we have fad tension and along uh, which is acting from a to d so we need to find the resultant at point a so the resultant vector at point a will be equal to fab plus fab and these are vectors since we are going to find the vector sum so fab plus fab plus fad or we can say fab plus fab is 2 fab plus fad now as we can see that both fab forces they are acting in the negative y direction so uh, the x and y components of fab are zero or we can say that the i and j components of fab are zero so we can say that fab one fab is equal to zero i and since the 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 tension in this rope abd is 82 pounds so the magnitude of uh, uh, the y components of fab is 82 pounds since it is only acting in the y direction so we will have minus 82 j so minus is due to the negative y direction so this fab force is acting in the negative j direction so this is negative j and the magnitude of the j component is 82 pounds and the k component is zero as well so we can say this is zero k so this is the cartesian vector representation of the force fab which is acting in the negative y direction similarly we can say that 2 fab if i multiply this fab with scalar 2 so we will have 2 into 0 i minus 82 j plus 0 k and this will be equal to 0 i 2 into 0 is 0 minus 82 into 2 82 into 2 is 164 so we can say 164 j plus 0 k so this is 2 f a b and similarly we have to find the cartesian vector representation of f a d in order to find this resultant so we can say that the resultant uh, the f a d is equal to fad magnitude now the magnitude of fad is also this is also 82 pounds since the tension in this whole rope is 82 pounds so we can say that the magnitude of fad is 82 times the unit vector and the unit vector must be from a to d since this force fad is acting from a to d so we can say that this is 82 and the unit vector from a to d will be the position vector from a to d divided by the magnitude of the position vector from a to d and similarly um, this fab since this 82 
the force given is in pounds so the units of this is in pounds and the units of this is in pounds so we can say that this is in pounds and this is in pounds as well so we have we must write the units since the units are very important now we need we need to find fad we need to find the position vector from a to d so we can write that fad is equal to 82 now the position we can find the position vector from a to d by traveling from a in the x y n direction in order to reach that point d so from a we need to travel three feet in the negative x direction uh, sorry in the negative z direction this is the positive z direction so we need to travel three feet in the negative z so we will write that the position vector from a to d is three feet in the negative z that is in the negative k so we will reach here then from here we need to travel this much distance 7.75 feet distance in the negative y this is positive y and we are traveling in the downward direction so 7.75 feet in the negative j so i will write minus 7.75 in the negative j so we will read this point c and from point c we need to travel this much distance in the positive x so this distance is six feet so we need to travel six feet in the positive i direction and similarly we can find the magnitude of the position vector from a to d by applying the pythagoras theorem so we can say we can take the square of the magnitude of all the components of the position vector from a to d which is six square plus seven point seven five square plus three square under the square root so the, the magnitude is we can say that the magnitude is six square plus 7.75 square plus 3 square this gives me the magnitude equals to 10.25 so we can say that this magnitude is 10.25 and since this is the position vector and all these 6 7.5 and 3 they are in feet so this has the unit of feet and this has the unit of feet so feet will cancel out with feet and this is unitless since the unit vector is always the unitless vector so and this the magnitude of this uh, position vector from a to d tells us the direct distance between point a and d so this direct distance between point a and d is 10.25 feet now fad vector is equal to so we can say 82 multiply by 6 we have to divide each and every component by this magnitude so 6 divided by 10.25 i minus 7.75 divided by 10.25 j minus 3 divided by 10.25 k and for to further simplify we can multiply this 82 with each and every component of the unit vector so we can say that fad is equal to we can say 82 multiply by 6 divided by 10.25 so this gives me 48 i this is 48i then multiply by multiply with the j component so the j component 7.75 this gives me 62 so minus 62j and then multiply 82 multiplied by 3 divided by 10.25 gives us 24k so this multiply by this is 48 then this multiply by this and plus into minus is minus so 62 and similarly plus into minus is this minus 24k so this is the cartesian vector representation of the force which is acting from a to d now as we know that the resultant is the resultant is 2 fab plus fad so this is 2 fab and this is fad so we have to find we have to aid them right so we we have to write uh, 2 fab here and fab is 2 fab is 0 i minus 164 j plus 0k and we have to add them in order to find the resultant so this is plus and as we know that f2 fab plus fad is ra and this is equal to 48 plus 0 48 plus 0 is 48 i and then this plus this so this is minus 62 minus 164 this gives us minus 226 j and this minus 24 plus 0 is minus 24 k 
So now this is the resultant force which is acting at A and the resultant has a magnet uh, has a component of 48 pounds in the positive x direction like we will have one component in this direction and the resultant has one component in the negative y direction and that has a magnitude of 226 and it has a component in the negative z direction like this and so this is the resultant and we have to find the moment of this resultant now to find the moment of this resultant we can always use the cross product method so we can say that the resultant is we can say that the moment about point we have to find the moment about uh, about point c so the moment about point c will be equal to the moment arm the cross product of the moment arm with the resultant r a since we want to find the moment of the resultant at a now what should be the moment arm so the we can consider the moment arm which must be acting from c since we want to find the moment about point c so the moment arm must start from point c or the point about which we want to find the moment so we have to start we have to consider this moment arm so this moment arm will be a position vector of a relative to c so we can say that this will be r a relative to c so this could be the moment arm so we need to find we need to write r of a relative to c so now since this vector will be this since this vector is acting from c to a like this so it is just like the same position vector that's the same method we have to apply that we have used for finding the position vector from a to d so this is r of a relative to c and this is the same position vector which must be acting from c to a so to find this vector we have to start traveling from point c in the x y and z direction in order to, in order to reach that point a so from c we need to travel this much distance in the positive y direction so 7.75 feet in the positive j so i will write plus 7.75 feet in the positive j so so if we travel 7.75 feet we will travel we will reach this particular point and from this point we need to travel three feet distance in the positive z direction so three feet in the positive k direction so plus 3k so there is no need to travel in the x direction so we have reached that point a by traveling 7.75 feet in the positive y and then traveling three feet in the positive z so this means that the the x component is zero so we will write that this is zero i there is no need to travel in the i direction so this is the moment arm for r a in order to find the moment about point c so now we can find we can apply the determinant method we can say the moment about point c will be equal to i j and k and we have to write the components of r a c so 0 plus 7.75 plus 3 0 plus 7.75 plus 3 and then we have to write the components of r a so the components of r a are 48 minus 226 and minus 24 so 48 minus 226 minus 24 so this will be equal to moment about point c and this will be vector remember this will always be a vector so the cross product always gives us a vector so now in order to find the determinant we have to hide this row and this column and this multiply by this minus this so we will write 7.75 multiply by minus 24 minus 3 into minus 226 into i i am assuming that you guys know how to find the determinant now for j we have to hide this row and this column and with j we always need to write minus sign so we we'll write minus and zero into this minus this so we will write um, zero into minus 24 minus 3 into 48 multiply by j and there must be minus sign while finding the determinant so this term is always positive this is minus and this is plus and now for k we will write plus and for k we need to hide this row and this column and this minus this so the product of this minus this 
so we will write 0 into minus 226 minus 7.75 into 48 into k so now let's simplify all this calculation so the i component of the moment about point c is 7.75 into minus 24 minus 3 into minus 226 this gives us 492 so 492 i and the second term is 0 into minus 24 so 0 and minus 3 into 48 so minus 144 so this is um this is minus 144 and minus 144 multiplied by minus is plus so we will write plus 144 j and similarly the k term is 0 into minus 226 minus 7.75 into 48 this gives us minus 372 so minus 372 k so this is the moment about point c due to the resultant at a and if you were asked to find the magnitude of the moment about point c due to the resultant a so the magnitude will be equal to that will be 492 square plus 144 square plus 372 square always take the squares of the magnitudes of the components and then take the square root so that will give us the magnitude so 492 square plus 144 square plus 372 square so this gives us 633.39 so this magnitude of the moment about point c is equal to 633.39 and the units must be pound feet this is pound feet since while taking the cross product uh, this has a magnitude of feet this is this is 0i 7.75 is in feet and this is in feet so we must say that this is in feet and our a is in pound so the cross product is in pound feet and all these products this is is this is feet and this is pound so everything is the product of pound and feet so ultimately we will get the units of pound and feet so this is also in pound feet so this is the a vector uh, moment about point c due to the resultant and that vector has a that moment vector has an i component of 492 pound feet in the positive i in the positive x 144 pound feet in the positive j and 372 pound feet moment in the negative k so this is the solution of this particular problem i hope this will help you in your learning let me know in the comments if this helps in your learning do subscribe engineers academy for the solution of such more problems from vector mechanics for engineers by baron johnston